I know after I made this statement, the microphone may be taken out of my hands. But I don't believe God. I don't. No, 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 no. I don't believe God. Somebody said, then why are you here? It is because I know him. Because believing God is for children. But knowing God is for adults. If thou shalt believe the Lord Jesus Christ with thy heart and shall confess him with thy mouth that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And that word salvation means reality. Watch me. Believing God is for children. It's for those who are just introduced into God. They are to believe God. But I've worked with this man for too long to still believe him. I don't believe him. I know him. Because I've come close to death three times. But he saved me for his purpose. I was down there when everybody said I was a failure. And now I'm able to, I'm able to advise five presidents. I advise some governors in Nigeria. I advise presidents all over the world. And yet I've never done philosophy. I've not done economy. I've not done psychology. But there is power in neology. And so when you were going out there and writing your thesis, I was on my knees writing my thesis. And today, it doesn't matter what it is. You cannot convince me. It doesn't matter the kind of education you have and the kind of argument you can make. Whether you have the Bible or you don't have the Bible, I have come to a place of knowing God. So I don't need you to convince me. I am already persuaded and I am convinced that my God lives and it dwells in the affairs of man. Do you know God or you believe God? 